Ken Perai here. We're back in King George, Virginia. I'm here with my hunting buddy, next door neighbor Colton Jocelyn, and we are going to be doing something really cool today. Uh, rabbit season just ended in Virginia, and we have gone out. We had a couple great hunts at the end of the year. We've got some friends that have some wonderful beagles. And hey, if you've never been rabbit hunting with beagles, it's a, it's a blast, isn't it? I mean, hearing those dogs run and the way they get, the way they get after those rabbits, I think. Unfortunately, if we had shot better, we'd have more rabbits because I think those poor dogs probably ran the same rabbit by us four or five times before we finally collected it. But anyways, we got quite a few bunnies in the bag, and today we're going to be making a rabbit and andouille sausage gumbo. And we've got the rabbit already quartered up very nicely. Uh, got a couple bags of it here. Going to make a big gumbo. And we are going to be cooking this first to tenderize it. Uh, and plus, because we're in a little bit of a hurry, we're going to be using an Instant Pot, which is kind of a pressure cooker. So one of the advantages to using the Instant Pot is going to be that we can also make some of our broth at the same time. And so once we get all that squared away, then we'll throw in some of our vegetables, some of the rabbit, some sausage, and at the very end we'll add in some filet, which is ground sassafras. Yeah, the filet is a thickener and also adds some flavor to it. All right, well, let's get chopping and get this rabbit cooking because we've got to let it cook for probably about 20 minutes, I guess, and then we'll get the, the roux started on the stove at the same time, perhaps. All right, All right let's go. You're really going to want to get all your vegetables chopped up now because once you start your roux you really want to keep your attention on it because you don't want to burn it because then you have to restart. Here I have a pound of hickory smoked andouille sausage from an excellent Cajun market in Louisiana. If you really want to make sure you got the real deal, there's a certified Cajun stamp on the product if it was made in Louisiana. So an important component of any great Cajun dish is very often the roux. And a roux, going back to my long ago formal culinary arts training, is equal parts of fat and flour cooked to a consistency that can be stirred. And there's light roux, dark roux. Uh, you can get them to a nice peanut butter color. Uh, typically that's what we do when we're making a lot of Cajun dishes. This is going to be like a medium roux for rabbit. Uh, for like a duck gumbo, you might want a little heavier roux for a a chicken or seafood gumbo, you might want a little lighter to medium roux. So, but the key with the roux is you've got to stir, 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 stir. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one cup of oil. We're going to use canola oil here. We've already got some pan drippings in the pan from the andouille sausage. We've got the stove set at medium low. And now we're going to slowly stir in a cup of flour, stirring constantly. This really needs to incorporate well together. <clears throat> I recall uh, seeing an exhibition with a Cajun chef one time and she talked about a one beer roux or a two beer roux. And that's basically how long you were going to cook the roux uh, and how many beers you could drink during the time you were cooking the roux. This is probably going to be a one to one and a half beer. All right, one beer.
we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes or until it's soft. While the uh, vegetables are cooking in the brew, we're going to be deboning this rabbit that we cooked in the pressure cooker. I've got this little choncho knife by Smith Products. It's a really good knife. It's great for like flaying off these back strap pieces and uh, just, just helping make it break down easy. It's a sharp little knife. Um, this is also a good time where as you're breaking the rabbit meat apart to see if you've got any shot pellets in there from the hunt. Yeah, whenever I'm uh, making some kind of Cajun dish, especially a gumbo or whatever, it's almost like I want to channel that late, great Cajun chef, comedian, however you want to call him, Justin Wilson. And he always said, I guarantee this is going to be good. And I guarantee this is going to be good gumbo. Since we have the spicy sausage, Now we're ready to add our broth back to our roux. So I'm just gonna gradually put that in. And one thing you wanna be careful of is it's, be or it's best to have um, either the broth or the roux cool and then one hot. And it helps prevent lumps. You just add a little bit at a time, stir it in. good. Our gumbo has been simmering for about an hour now and we've tasted it a couple times. I just added a little bit more black pepper and it tastes really good. So we're ready to serve it and we're going to serve it with either some Creole potato salad or some rice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take about a quarter teaspoon of filet which is basically ground up sassafras root put it over top of it and then I'll stir it in. sausage. It does punch it up when you take a bite of that. Wow. Well we've got a uh, delicious cottontail rabbit and andouille gumbo. Uh, the uh, gumbo was made with a nice medium roux. Uh, excellent seasoning. The andouille brings a lot of spice to the game and uh, it's, it's really delicious. Uh, we served it over rice. You can have a nice side dish of Cajun Creole potatoes. Uh, which is really just a potato salad that uses Creole mustard and a little bit more spice than your traditional potato salad. And some people actually put the gumbo over the potato salad, but we're, we're doing it over rice because that's a more traditional. What do you think of it? Well, I can at least say one thing. I've had rabbit several times, and this is the most tender I've ever had it. Yeah, yeah. We cooked it in the instant pot for 25 minutes, and then it simmered on the stove top for an hour while the liquid reduced flavors concentrated and it is just like melt in your mouth tender rabbit so good hunting and good eating and joe thanks for the beer oh i meant to tell you uh, for this recipe and the recipe for the uh, creole potato salad make sure you go to www.outdoorsrambler.com you get this recipe and many others uh, that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thanks.